What's up dudes and dudettes, Big Jake here and welcome back. Today I have another kind of unboxing, definitely review video for you. We're going to be taking a look at an import Switch game. I've had it in my collection for a little while. I, I just haven't had an opportunity to open it or play it yet. So we'll do that together here today. Straight from the land of the rising sun. Psycho Collection Volume 2. Let's take a look at it. All right. This might very well be the most anticlimactic unboxing you've ever seen. We're just going to pop some cellophane on this sucker and, and take the Switch card out. But I'll have a little gameplay for you later on so you can uh, look at that and kind of judge if you want to get the game or not based on that. Give you a little look at the, the packaging though. You can buy these four games on the North American eShop, I do believe. They are a little bit more expensive to get them as a collection physically. The games it comes with are Strikers 1945 2, Gunbird 2, and that's the one I'm really looking forward to. I'm going to butcher this Tin Guy, and Dragon Blaze. All right. Yeah, Gunbird 2 was originally a Dreamcast game. I do believe, and when I started getting into Dreamcast, it's a game people kept recommending to me, and I really wanted to get it. But it was just so expensive at the time to, to buy on Dreamcast, so I'm kind of pumped to try it out now on the Switch, see what the, uh, the hype was about. All right, Psycho. Kind of some cool artwork. On the inside cover there. This is this is what you get. <laughs> Should we do the uh, mandatory switch taste test? If you've never done this before, this is gonna look so weird. But uh, try it once. <laughs> oh man, they they do that so so kids won't eat the carts. So uh, yeah, <laughs> let's try out the games. See how they are. All right, here we are. Now, it should recognize that this is a North American Switch. It should open up in English, I'm hoping. These are all um, scrolling shooter games. Sweet. Which is a genre I'm not super well versed in, but I figured I really wanted Gunbird 2. Might as well get all the other games with it there. We'll just do them in order. I am playing on my Hori Bike Pad Mini here. Did a review on that a couple weeks ago, so you can check that out. Want to learn more about that? I've been loving it so far, by the way. It's a, it's a cool little controller. Okay. We won't do too much of each one. I just wanted to give you enough to, uh, to give you an idea about each game. Oh man, get to choose your plane. I kind of like this game. Flying Pancake. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry if these clicks are going to ruin the video, but... <laughs> oh, that's just some good fun there. Oh, F. Oh, <laughs> right. Yeah. Obviously, I suck at these. It's gonna take me some time to get used to this style of game. All right. So it looks kind of like a, a basic scrolling shooter here. Go along, pick up your power-ups, dodge all kinds of bullets. All right. You've seen enough of that. We don't need to... Uh... Watch me die 20 times. All right, next on the list is Dragon Blaze, it looks like. Let's give this guy a try, too. I've been loving the music so far in this. It's got some good tunes. Okay. Okay. Oh, choose your dragon and your dragon rider. 
Okay. Rob looks like a cool dude. We're gonna be Rob. Oh, wow. That was not disorienting at all. Oh my gosh! Blowing crap up here. I'm guessing we want the coins that I keep missing there. Oh. Yeah, I do apologize that I am not well versed in this genre. I just wanted to give you a, a look at it. By no means a pro. Alright, there's a few seconds of that one. This one feels like it might have a little more going on than the first game in the collection there. And next up is Tin Guy. Okay, okay, we got a side scroller here. First two are vertical. Okay. Oh, I love the lemur. Um, this guy looks pretty sweet too, though. Let's go with with him. Oh yeah, side scroller. All right, little variety here. They're not all vertical scrollers. Hey, this one's a lot. This one's a lot of fun, actually. Not that the other ones weren't. I mean, I'm only playing a half a minute of each, but I'm getting a good vibe from this game. Oh, shock them all! Kind of a samurai theme. I can dig it. Going underwater. Kill some robot fish. Never a dull moment in these games, I guess. Oh! A whale submarine. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Well, there you go. Let's move on to the one I've been waiting for here. The main attraction, Gunbird 2. I've waited way too many years to play this game. I wonder if on the Dreamcast, the aspect ratio was like this and they had a border. I know it was originally an arcade game, so their cabinet was probably originally set vertically. Ah, we'll go with this dude. Alright, alright. Kinda like it. Futuristic theme, fighting some robots. There's a kind of diverse roster there. He had a genie. This dude. Oh yeah. I like his special. Yeah, cool. Fun fun. Now, this is gonna be a good little collection. I can tell you I'm gonna have a lot of fun with this, trying to learn these games and get better at this genre. I've always liked arcade games. It's kind of cool that you can play them at home now. Alright, well there's Gunbird 2. A little bit of it for you. Hey, I know we didn't go in-depth in any particular game, but I just wanted to give you a little taste of each of them there. I will say that... If you don't like owning the media physically, if that's not a, a huge priority to you, I don't know if I'd go ahead and buy this. Like I said, they are cheaper individually in the eShop than buying this, but it's a it's a cool little collection to have, and you'll always have it even if the eShop goes down and your Switch dies and you have to buy a new one, you can still have the games, so that's pretty cool. I hope this was helpful for you, and if you were on the fence about getting this game, maybe it answered some questions for you. If you guys would, be sure to like, subscribe to my channel, and until next time, my dudes, stay classy.